Is it on? Oh, now it's on. Morning, everyone, and thank you for everyone for being here at today's hearing of the New York City Council Transportation Committee. My name is Idani Rodriguez, and I'm the chair of this committee. Today we'll be voting on a bill introduced by Council Member Carlos Menchaca that will require a study by the Department of Transportation and the Department of Parks and Recreation on the value of placing New York City bike share stations near city parks. This bill, intro, intro 401, aims M2, encourage cycling in more areas around the city, encouraging residents and visitors alike to hop on a bike and explore our beautiful parks where cycling is allowed. I'm supportive of this bill because we as a city need to do more to get out of our cars and find new ways to commuting and having fun. I want to give Council Member Menchaca an opportunity to speak on this bill before we vote, but now I would like to acknowledge my colleague who is here, Council Member Vaca, Evan Bramer, Richard, Constantinides, Menchaca, and Miller. And now let's hear from my colleague, Council Member and Dangarani, Council Member Carlos Menchaca, and Council Member Miller is here too. Muchas gracias. Uh, Idanis Rodriguez, our chair of the Transportation Committee, and welcome everyone. Today we're voting on intro number 401A, a one-time reporting item. I want to thank my colleagues for their co-sponsorship co of this item. Our city's bike share system, City Bike, which I'm sure you've all heard about, seen, or gotten on the bike yourself, is operated by a corporation called Motivate. They are now a successfully established and they are serving tens of thousands of users each month. The ridership is growing like never before, not just for city bike, but for bikes, bike users across the city. The planned expansions of the service into new areas of the city have, pre have proceeded at a pace, a good pace. According to City Bike's recent June 2017 operations report, which is public online for all of you who want to see it, and I'm quoting here, but listen to these numbers. On average, there were 57,705 rides per day in June, with each bike used 6.79 times per day. 18,521 annual members and 74,605 casual members signed up or renewed during the month. Total annual membership stands at 130,301 including memberships purchased with New Jersey billing zip codes. There were 608 active stations at the end of the month. The average bike fleet last month was 8,503, with 8,170, 100, sorry, 8,107 bikes in the fleet of the last day of the month. City bike members purchased or renewed 18,201 annual passes, over 67,000 single-day passes, and over 7,000 three-day passes in June. There were about 130,000 active annual members by the end of June. These numbers are staggering. There were 1.7 million trips in June with an average of 57,000 trips per day. The combined distance traveled for all trips was over 4 million miles. The average trip lasted 14.6 minutes and covered about 2.3 miles. This is an incredible accomplishment of New Yorkers saying yes to bikes and for City Bike to continue their expansion and their promise of access. So clearly City Bike has become an integral component of New York City's transportation system. It is a large and complex system that requires careful management to maintain stations and bikes and to rebalance moving bikes from one location to another to make sure that everyone has access. Uh, and these patterns of travel go into consideration. Intro 401 would require data and logistics analysis of city bike stations and placements near our city parks. The value of this is twofold. One, it will promote more thoughtful and effective interagency coordination between DOT and parks. We are ready for this interagency conversation to happen around city bike because our ultimate goal is to have city bike across the entire city. Two, 
It will provide, da provide data validating success and pointing to areas for improvement on the placement of bike stations near our parks. I'm a proponent of, a, I am a proponent of City Bike, not just because I'm a member, but because of everything you just heard today in every neighborhood in the city. And I believe that we should look for every opportunity to improve and expand ex its services, especially in the low income communities of color and public housing, uh, uh, public housing and uh, Section 8 project-based housing like in Sunset Park, where cycling can be a healthy and cost-effective transportation option. City Bike and its operators use data-driven management. This report will allow us to make that happen. So I want to say thank you to the chair, the members of this committee, uh, and the city council as it arrives uh, before the floor. Thank you so much, and I urge you all to vote yes. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Carlos, uh, for your leadership on this issue, as also you bring a leaders in a, another issue, very important these hours and these days, especially the immigrants. And you will be hearing, uh, late in the hearing at 1 p.m. as we're gonna be expanding also uh, the services for the immigrant community. So thank you again. And I also want to thank the committee and legislative staff that worked on this bill, committee council, Faisal Malik, policy analyst, Jonathan Maserano, Gafar Salov, and Emily Rooney. And now I call on the clerk to call the roll. I recommend a yes vote on this le important legislation. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Transportation, introduction 401A, Chair Rodriguez. Aye. Gorodnik. Aye. Vaca. Aye. <coughs> Excuse me. Levin. Aye. Van Bramer. I vote aye, and I'd like to be added as a prime co-sponsor of Alice Benchante's terrific bill. Thank you. Richards. I vote aye. Congrats, Carlos. Constantinidis. I vote aye, and please add me as a sponsor to the bill as well. Menchaca. I vote aye. Miller. Aye. A vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we will leave the vote open for a few more minutes so that they might, or the colleague can vote. Thank you. <laughs>